Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to export camera track from Synthize to 3ds Max. So now we are inside Synthize. So first we have to import our sort. Then we have to click on File, then New, and just select your sort. So this is our sort here. So just we have to select the starting frame here. Now just we have to click on Open. Then after this, just you have to select your required frame rate. So just I have selected this one here. Now just we have to click on OK. So now just type import a sort here. So this is a sort here. So now first we have to track this sort. So in this summary tab, just we have to click on this auto button. So this will automatically track your sort and also this will solve your camera. So now just I am getting this camera solve here. And now just we are inside this solver tab here. So just we have to play and just we have to check. So this is our camera solve here. Inside this left side, just I am getting this average camera solve error, which is 0.355 here. So now suppose if you want to little bit improve your camera solve, maybe suppose if you are getting this error above one pixel, so just you have to reduce this error. So for this, simply just we have to click on track, then we have to click on cleanup trackers, and just we have to select these bad frames. Now just we have to click on fix. Then after this, in this automatic drop down just we have to select this refine now again just we have to click on this go now just i am getting this improved error which is 0 0.27 still if you are getting this little bit high error then you can also calculate your lens distortions here then after that if you want to orient your scene then go to this 3d tab here tab just we have to check over the scene orientation even if you want to define your scene origin point for center point then you can also define maybe suppose just i want to define maybe at this point as a origin or scene origin here so this one here so here just i have selected so just you can check this point here so this is here so what we have to do so simply in this left side just we have to select this move tool then we have to click on this hole so just we can shift our entire scene so just we have to click this one here now just we can move this entire scene. Even again just you can select your point and just you can check. So now for select your point again just you have to uncheck this whole option. So while you are adjusting this scene okay, then you have to check this whole. Otherwise just you have to uncheck this whole options. So now just we can select maybe this point here. So now just you can see maybe this one here. So also just you can check from all these view here. So this is our front view top view this is your left view here so again just we have to take this move tool and just i am going to adjust then check this hole and just maybe try to adjust this one here so now just type define over this scene center points here so just we can check this one here even suppose if you want you can also just select this layout quad perspective view then select this lock camera and just you can check through this grid here so usually just you can see all these things here now just you can see here so first area just save our project then we have to click on file save project and select your folder so inside this folder just i am going to save this one here now just we have to click on save Again, just select this quad view here. So now after this, just I am going to create a test object. Just you can select any test object like this box or any other 3D object. So just I am going to select this earthlings here. Then simply just we have to click. Just we can adjust this size. Then we can take this move tool and just we can place according to requirement. So now just we have to check this one here. Even just you can select this again earthling and just you can adjust this size. So let us tell what just you can adjust this size. I think this is sufficient here. Even suppose if you want a little bit to adjust your scene orientation then you can take this rotate tool and just you can check this hole then you can adjust your scene orientations here. So now finally just I am going to export this camera track for 3ds max. 
so for this just we have to click on file then export then go to this folder then inside this you will get this max script version 6 or later here so just we have to click here then we have to select folder so just i have selected this street folder and just we have to give a file name then we have to click on save then inside this box okay so just we have to define over this starting frame or image sequence starting frame so just type define it here one so according to your image sequence just you have to define your starting frame here now just you have to click on ok now again just click on finally this save file here save now just i am going to see how we can import this camera tracking data inside 3ds max so now come inside 3ds max so now we are inside 3ds max so now first we have to open our main folder so this is our main synthize folder inside this, this is our folder here so just we have to open this one and just we have to check our file which just i have exported for 3ds mag so this is our file which just i have exported from synthize which is just a script file so just we have to select this ms file and just we have to drag and drop into this 3ds max here so simply just we can select and just we can drag and drop here so now here you will see just i have imported over this camera tracking data inside 3ds max so now just we can play and just we can check so just you can see all these things here so this is actually showing this uh, character here so you can also see from here so just simply select and just delete this one here so inside the left side this is our camera and these are actually points here or located here so later we will create all these groups here and just we will make a final scene group here so now after this what i am going to do so just i am going to import our image plate or background plate here so remember this one so inside this view just i am looking through this camera here so simply just you can click here and just you can select this camera here so just you can see this is actually camera name here then after this for importing your image plane or background plate here just we have to click on this plus icon then we have to click on this configure viewport then after this we have to check this huge files then we have to click here and just we have to import our background plate so simply just we have to click on this file and just we have to select over this image plane or background plate here so inside this folder this is our main file here so just i have selected this starting frame here then this sequence is checked here now just we have to click on open then after this just we have to press ok then inside this window just we have to define this starting at mean this is your starting frame here according to your image sequence here so just we have to type it here so simply just we have to type one then in this animate background so match rendering output just we have to check this one here now just we have to click on ok so just you can see so just type import over this background plate here now just we can play and just we can check so now if you will see so just type import over this image plate here or background plate here but if you will click on this play so actually this image plate or background plate is not playing in real time so just you can see so now if you will move this plate and if you will release this one now this is updating here so for this what we can do so simply just we have to click on this customize then go to this preferences then just click on this viewport here then you will get this update background while playing so this option just we have to check now just we have to click on ok now just we have to play and just we have to check so now this is just playing in real time here now just you can see all these things here even just you can click on this stop and just you can also scrub this one here so just you can see now after this just i am going to test our scene here so simply just i am going to create a test object just first check this one here so just you can see here so all things are matching here so just i am going to create a test object here so for this just simply just i am going to create maybe just you can create this teapot here just you can check this one here so let's take this teapot and just create this test object so just you can see this one here now just we have to play and just we have to check so now just you can see this one so play and just check now just we click here inside this viewport and just we can play and just we can check
now this is properly just matching here then after this suppose if you want to create another maybe object then just you can take this uh, 3d object like box just you can take and just maybe just create this one here and then you can take this move tool and just you can place according to requirements here where you want to play so this is again just only for explanations here now press alt w so just we can maximize this one here and simply just we can play and just we can check all these things here so now just you can see now just we can play and just we can check you can import any 3d object and just you can place into this scene here now after this just i am going to save this max file here so just we have to click on file and just click on save and just select your folder and just we can give a file name now just we have to click on save so now finally suppose if you want to little bit orient your scene inside a 3ds max then you can also orient so for this simply what you have to do so again press alt and w so now just we can see so just we have to create a main scene group so now just delete all these objects here so simply just we have to select first all these locators here then we have to create a group now just we have to select the locator group and just we have to select this camera now again just we have to create a group so this is our main scene group now just we have to click on ok now suppose if you want to little bit orient your scene then simply just you can select this main scene group then you can press E and just you can little bit just you can rotate your scene so just you can see this one here so this is just only for explanation remaining things that you can adjust according to requirements here now again just uh, try to create a, another uh, 3d objects here so simply just again just take this maybe this box and just we can create a box now just we can play and just we can check so alt w and just we can play and just we can check so now just you can see this one here so like this if you want you can also just orient your scene inside 3ds max and remaining things just you can adjust according to your requirements here so guys till here i have completed over this class so if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel so thanks for watching